Hi everyone! Today I want to talk about your weight journey, whether it be weight loss or weight gain journey. Um, let's talk about it because I know this is a hot topic to talk about and it can be a very hard topic to talk about because if you see the newer or the different generations coming up, they may seem to be a lot thicker maybe. Um, or they say America is more obese these days. So what is really going on with people besides the preservative people are putting in their body? Or is it um, the depression and anxiety? I mean, what truly is the factor behind why the weight gain or why the um, weight loss, right? Or maybe even starvation, if you will. I don't want to go too much into that because I know at that point it's almost a different whole video on starvation. Um, but do you or do you know someone that struggles with this kind of with weight gain or needing to have weight uh, to put weight on? I know I have been on both of the spectrums um, growing up. I was I was not very big growing up and then I um, got diabetes um, pre right at like 12 years old or 13 years old I got diabetes and I stayed a pretty good size weight and then um, when I got in my early 20s like 21 I got a really good job over 20 something years ago um, 26 years ago that I was making like $1,500 a week and that was like the most money I have ever made at that point in time in my life like <laughs> so when I was 21 let me tell you um take out I was we always ate just top of the line food like are you kidding me right now things that you um don't normally eat I was eating and then so I gained the weight uh really rapidly within like two or three years of having that job I gained a substantial amount of weight I went from like 125 to close to 200 pounds and then um then what happened is is stress right then going through uh, physical abuse and, and this and that so and stress and then losing that job um, due to domestic violence really got me I got real small again <laughs> and then I just kind of stayed small after that it was um I don't know I kind of just stayed small after that but also I picked up a different habits along the way I picked up um smoking cigarettes um not eating properly because um at that time my family unit was broken and so it's not like um there was a schedule it's not like all the time was their family home or not home um so it really um played a major role in that too and then with having diabetes it um it's really hard to for me anyways hard to um, stick to a certain, if you will, diet. It has to be more of a life change or a way of life in order to um, maintain a healthy weight. So I know like one time my uh, my father-in-law at that time, he, if, I don't know if any of you remember uh, Laraza, not Laraza Pam, um, it, I forget, I just, I remember the name before this video and I can't think of it. Um... It starts with an L. Anyways, it helps lose stomach weight, right? And uh, the people, whoever the company was, I guess sent him too many bottles. And I had like three cases of that stuff. And I felt like I was eating them like candy. like. And then they had me over amped and this and that. But did I lose the weight? Um, whatever weight? Yes, I, into, <laughs> I lost weight. I mean like seriously lost weight. But in the meantime, I was feeling horrible because um not horrible about myself that what I mean it's like I could just fall asleep because I was like running at 100 miles an hour and then I just fall asleep and that was it I remember one time um I didn't live in a, when my first home that I owned it was not in a good neighborhood right and then I fell asleep in my living room and you're like so what what's the point in that like okay here's the dangerous part I fell asleep all the lights on my front door wide open the screen door wide open everything was like wide open and then I fell asleep and if you you don't you may not know my neighborhood but it was a really rough neighborhood and that's just something that you don't do like especially if you're a female all by yourself at home it and um 
young too uh that is just something that you don't do right and so i mean i would get exhausted to the point i just fall out because i i took these pills all the time and then i realized it was they they turned into more of an addiction if you will because I went from um, always having them, then I started to realize I was running out. I was like down to my last bottle. I was freaking out. I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't have any more of these um, pills, da, da, da. And then I had to like stop and think like, whoa, what are you going through? It's okay that you don't have those pills. It's okay. I mean, like I had to really talk myself through them. And then um, I think at that time, that's just when Walmart started selling them. You no longer had to just buy them on TV. Um, Walmart started selling them. So um, I just, I'm glad I didn't go out and then like keep buying them, right? I had to recognize that there was a problem at that point. Um, then I also, on the, in the middle of my journey or in life, that of um, I was super small. And then everybody, um, because my my husband at that time was a, a severe addict and so then they thought because I was so thin and I got thin they thought that I was um deep into addiction as well which was not the truth it was between stress um having diabetes and high blood sugars and when you have high blood sugars you pee out a lot of sugar um and so it's just right my health wasn't good but I but I got tired of hearing people like tell me how skinny I was how ugly I was and this now so from there on out I um, developed the thing of um wearing big clothes all the time like big baggy sweats all the time I mean did they look cute yeah they were cute because they were brand new they were very fresh um brand new shoes you know what I mean but I always wore massive bigger clothes so people can stop talking negatively about me because it really it really hurt my feelings at that time and um it wasn't something i appreciated right and so then i after being skinny being skinny being skinny i really tried to put on the weight um i couldn't put on the weight no matter what i ate i just seemed like nothing would come on and then um then i quit smoking cigarettes like are you kidding me right now i decided i was like let's just quit smoking cigarettes that's not good for you um let's get spiritually correct right uh, for me this is my own journey this is how i'm explaining it what what how i considered it but i was like okay let's just um quit smoking cigarettes and once i quit smoking cigarettes and that was um back in Mm, 2018 January 2018 I quit smoking cigarettes and then and then after that it felt like I just blew up like are you kidding me right now it's like I went from like 125 135 to almost two 200 pounds now like 195 whatever and I'm like what do I do right and I've tried to exercise um intermittent fasting don't eat past six o'clock this that and that's really hard especially when you have diabetes um you don't know about your sugar levels it kind of gets a little some things aren't just meant to be for diabetics type type 1 diabetics it's just not meant to be um and then i talked to my diabetic uh doctor about it and he's like nope there's nothing we can do you just need to exercise you just need to eat right i've been to so many different dietitians i've <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm on to the point. Are you kidding me? I'm like, here, let's get some lipo up in here nowadays. Like, ah, because I'm still big. My face is still round. I'm still a big, I feel like a very big person um, in my own uh, walk of life. Okay. I'm not saying if you're bigger than me, hashtag no judgment. Everybody's different. I have um, family members that are three or four times bigger than me. I have, um, back in the day I had my a dear dear friend um he was like over 500 pounds and so it's not a judgment I'm just talking about how, what I feel comfortable in with my own skin and what the doctors also tell me and so um and so my daughter is trying to call me so anyways I just so I've tried intermittent fasting. I've tried um, different stuff to get the weight off. And then I started taking psych meds. And some psych meds, they do make you gain weight. Um, they do make you gain weight. And so does birth control do make you gain weight. And then come to find out now, since I'm in my 40s, mid 40s, almost 50, uh, then they have to tell me, oh, you have a, a thyroid problem. So that contributes to water weight gain, all the different types of weight gain too. 
And um, so my new thing is what I'm going to try. I am not kidding you. I'm going to try is um, to do the wall Pilates. I'm going to try to see how that works. Um, years back, I during the pandemic, I even bought a Bowflex. Do you know I bought the Bowflex and never used it? I was like, ah! And then I have a dear friend, she gave me a indoor bicycle. I've used it a few times, like I, I'll do really good for maybe a week or two and then it just doesn't become my lifestyle. So I really need to work on that as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's my um, new thing is I'm going to try to do the wall Pilates. Also, um, I got this firming cream. I, I think it's TikTok uh, gave it to me um to promote right and so it's firming cream for your arms and firming cream for your inner thighs so if you guys have are older or pe perhaps you already went through your weight loss journey or whatever or you feel that you want to tighten up your skin i'll leave that link in the comments as well um like i said they pay me to or they um i get a commission from it but i'm just excited about it, um doing it i just got it not very long ago um actually not very long ago for real for real just recently i just got it i haven't had the opportunity to see the difference yet because it does take a couple weeks and i haven't even had it for a couple weeks yet so um but i'm excited to try it if you want to be on that journey with me um please do so i would love to hear um the results and what your thoughts on it and um so on and so forth but um yeah i just wanted to bring that this uh topic to your attention um I know it's a struggle every single day and just don't give up and we got to also with our weight journey we got to learn to love our body and that's why I feel like I, I don't do right I um that's just something that I'm trying to figure out as well how to do that this and that um but I'm gonna um be um publishing my um affirmation book as well and once I get that um published I'll put it in my buy me a coffee and then at that point, you can purchase it at the Buy Me A Coffee. It's an affirmation book because I feel like um, the world is um, with the commercials and people in general. It's just real ugly and we need those affirmations, especially with our body, our body image, right? So, all right, everybody. Um, check out the comments below um just be nice in the comments if uh, you see something that you don't agree with that somebody says um just be nice about it or don't say nothing at all because i know that weight loss and body imaging is very hard right it's a very hard topic but that is what we do on this channel is that we talk about hard things all right everybody you have a wonderful day and i will see you on the next video